When a man domesticated a horse, he unlikely cared about the beauty of this animal. Strength and endurance played a more important role. But times are changing. Now horses are rarely used as a force, so it is very important that a thoroughbred schoon is pleasing to the eye. Today I will show you the most beautiful breeds of horses. The Marwari is a breed of India native horse. A distinctive feature of the horse are curved ears. They have excellent hearing. At birth, they were valued only for their superiority and devotion in battle, because initially they were war horses. Subtle auditory access from a far foreboding hearing. These beautiful horses were ridden by representatives of the Indian royal family. The horses were dressed up in solemn outfits. The Lipizzan breed was bred and named in the 16th century in the village of Lipica. These horses are very perfect, smart, and athletic. Unusual, these white horses are always born completely black and get darkened with age. Today, these beautiful horses are more known as participants of the famous equestrian ballet, which take part in the school of Spanish riding. In this school, the classic dressage skill has been preserved since the Renaissance. Fine white lipizzies and riders perform dance moves exactly to the music. Arabian horses are an ancient breed whose history began several thousand years ago. The first mention of Arab blood horses dates back to the 5th century BC. The breed is very tall. These horses reach a height of 1.5 meters. From the rest of the Arabian breeds, they have a longevity value. In favorable conditions, they usually live up to 30. These horses are great at accepting a high level of intelligence. But due to the presence of memory, they rarely forgive insults. Arabian horses have a strong and wayward habit. They are rarely used for riding. The Fjord horse is considered one of the oldest and purest breeds in the world. Their homeland is Norway. These were the horses the Vikings rode. Moreover, the appearance of animals has not changed much since then. It is archaeologically approved. Fjords are smart and trusting, so they are very easy to get along with. They perform in various horse shows and work well in harnesses. Appaloosa is a very recognizable breed. It is covered with spotted color. The Appaloosa were bred in the USA. This was the merit of the Indian tribe inhabited the western countries. The Indians selected the most smart and strong horses, and the horses did not reach the needed characteristics were sold. Today, representatives of this breed can be found in almost any kind of equestrian sport. They are reliable, smart, and hardy horses. The Oldenburg horse was bred in the 17th century as a draft horse for agricultural work. Today, this breed is often horse show participant. These are really tall and athletic horses have a phenomenal jumping ability. The nature of the horse depends entirely on education. If the horse has grown up in a favorable environment, it will be hardy, kind, and energetic. Shetland ponies are one of the shortest breeds. Their usual withers height is only 0.75 meters. But at the same time, they look like small heavyweights. The neck is short and muscular. The chest and withers are well developed. The back is short and wide. The crop is rounded. The stomach is large and sagging. These ponies are distributed in riding from the age of four. It is often found as exhibits in zoo nurseries. The Falabella horse breeds are the smallest in the world. They are often confused with ponies, especially the smaller Shetland ones. However, mini horses are not ponies, but an independent, especially rare breed. Some horses' height does not exceed 0.04 meters. Unlike a pony, Falabella is fully provided, just like a normal riding horse. They are very graceful. They have legs and small hooves. They look like an enlarged version of Arabian horses.
The Morgan horse is one of the earliest breeds been crossed in the United States. These horses are distinguished by a compact and refined physique, as well as strong legs and an expressive head. Power and strength combined with an elegant appearance makes these horses perfect. Today, they are used for racing and riding. The very first representative of the breed belonged to a man named Morgan, and so the name of the breed appeared. The history of the Shire horse breed is rooted to antiquity. Like other draft breeds, at different periods in history, Shires were improved by infusion of blood from other breeds. These are very tall horses, with withers reaching heights of 1.76 meters. Shire horses set a record for carrying capacity. In April 1924, at the prestigious Wembley Show, two Shires were harnessed to a dynamometer and applied a force of about 50 tons. The warm bloods are a cross between thoroughbreds and draft horses. The Dutch warm blood is an athletic horse breed. Its representatives show excellent results in various competitions. These are noble, disciplined, and very diligent horses. The royal family's representatives used to rode Andalusian breeds. Knights also rode on them. The beauty of the Andalusian horses inspired the artists of the Middle Ages, and they depict them on their canvases. 80% of this breed is grey, while the rest can be bay or black. Halfingers are short horses, whose withers height does not exceed 1.5 meters. This breed was bred in Austria, in the Middle Ages. It can be easily recognized by golden color and white mane. Their amazing stress resistance and ability to learn contributed to the fact that these horses became the basis of the Austrian cavalry. But halfingers are also used in farming, and some representatives of the breed take part in sports competitions. Gypsy breed representatives cannot be confused with other horses. They have a chic mane and shaggy legs at the hooves. Gypsies have always been skilled riders and knew a lot about horses. The breed originated in Ireland. A lot of different British breeds are mixed with the blood of these horses. Despite their magnificent appearance, these horses were often used as working horses, as they are strong, hardy, and obedient. But no one will be able to curb the Mustang. Wild horses have a very tough temper and are completely untrainable. You can only admire them, and it is even better to do it from afar. Since the breed is wild, and a lot of different breeds are mixed in the blood of these horses, the appearance of Mustangs may differ, but they always have a strong body, strong legs, and good hooves. Akalteke horses are also called golden horses because of their unusual color. This is one of the most purebred breeds. For 5,000 years, Akalteke horses have not been crossed with other breeds and the best for riding. The breed is known not only for its metallic luster of wool, but also for intelligence and endurance. The Clydesdale is a large and powerful horse of working mares from Clydesdale. The breed was originally bred to work in agriculture. Today, Representatives of this breed are used as drum horses by the British Cavalry. Like the Clydesdale, the Black Forest horses are draft breeds. About 600 years ago, the ancestors of this breed were powerful and strong horses worked in the high agricultural regions of Germany. They were able to endure harsh winters and helped local farmers work the land. Bashkir curly horses stand out among all other breeds with their hair, which lies in curls. Thanks to this wool, these horses are able to withstand a long cold winter. In Bashkiria and Tatarstan, kumis is made from their milk and yarn is made from wool. They are also used for riding and agricultural work. The Frisian horse is one of the most beautiful animals in the world. 
It has an incredibly long thick mane and tail. Since hair grows on their hooves, Frisian horses are a bit like gypsy horses, only their body is more refined. The main feature of the breed is their perfect black color. Frisian horses have no other color. For their almost perfect appearance, these horses are often called black pearls. Nabstroppers outwardly resemble Dalmatians, having the same black spots and a white background. These are very smart and obedient horses that quickly remember commands, so they can often be seen in the circus. Brumbies are a breed that originated from feral domestic horses. They can be found in some regions of Australia. Despite the fact that these horses are wild, they have a good habit and able to get along with people. From time to time, they turn into domesticated Brumbies. Yakut farms prove that horses not only graze on green pastures, but also live in the snow and cold. They have a thick coat and a very thick mane, which keeps them warm in the bitter cold. This is a low horse. Their wither's height is up to 1.4 meters. The Spanish Norman is a mixture of Andalusian and French Percheron horses. They are usually found gray suit, although there are also bay and black individuals. These are beautiful sports horses, often seen in various competitions. The Catria breed was formed in the natural environment, and these horses were originally wild. Therefore, the main characteristics are strength, endurance, and rebellious disposition. Many representatives of the breed still live in the wild. Comtois horses are the strongest in the world. They were bred specifically for the job. They were often used to transport heavy and valuable goods. They even delivered artillery supplies to the military at various times. The Menorca horse is perfect for riding. In any saddle and any style of driving, self-esteem will be felt. Just like the Frisian horses, Menorca horses are only black. Hanover glands are ideal for use in a variety of areas. They are smart, energetic, and agile. This is a half-bred breed that was bred from an ugly stock, an improved result of crossing with close approaches to thoroughbred supreme, Arabian, and Tricaner horses. <laughs>